नमस्कार गोवन वार्ता लाईव्ह च्या टू द पॉईंट कार्यक्रमात मी किशोर नाईक गावकर आपलं स्वागत करतो इट इज फाउंड दॅट इवन देन कलेक्टर हॅज नो ऑथॉरिटी टू रिव्हर्ट आलवारा लँड कलेक्टर ऑफिस कंटिन्यूज द सेम प्रॅक्टिस ऑफ रिव्हर्टिंग द लँड अँड टेकिंग ओव्हर द लँड दे आर नॉट इवन एक्वायरिंग द आलवारा लँड by claiming that it is already a government land and government land cannot be acquired the best example is of electronic city at tm wherein they have directly taken over alwara lands presuming that it is government land the villagers have objected it they have filed various memorandums with the government but government did not turn on that memorandums and government continues with their sub now the only thing which remains with the villagers is to approach coach and as you know that to approach court needs money that means if you don't have money you have to surrender to the illegal practices of this government as a journalist i have raised this issue several times but nobody cares to these issues and all applications under alwara are still pending with the government even manohar parrikar at that point of time has assured to give ownership of this alwara lands to the alwara holders but as of now it doesn't happen now to approach court against this illegal practice of government or uh, or um, taking over this alwara lands how people have to approach they have to directly approach to the high court or which authority they have to approach now why you are saying that you are asking for ownership when you are proprietor you are already proprietor by the law which is under that decree by that law as i already told you because you are a proprietor even going poi could buy it there is no impediment on him not to buy the whole question is is a transferable under the old law now present transfer of property act and registration act if you see they are looking at form 114 correct if there is no form 114 you cannot do mutation you cannot do that now people find that the form 114 is the document to give ownership but that document is not ownership but that document is of a tenant of the government now if you want to become a tenant of the government that is what they are saying ownership ownership that is not ownership actually you are absolute owner by holding alwara as a proprietor is already declared by law the question is why people are not understanding that they are already proprietor above the owner because the language owner is introduced by british language mm. owner mean the one who has been granted land by the state and the state is the landlord for which reason you are paying land revenue to the government now here we are not land uh, government is not landlord to you that landlordism is not there it is a contractual relationship the land is given to you for particular purpose and that purpose is under proprietorship with you if you breach that order if you breach that contract of affirmation and not then as i told you it has to be forfeited and reverted as long as you are not the, and it can be given only for living person is going a lifetime that we talk about perpetual living is not perpetual lease it is a lifetime contract which goes by succession and unless it is permitted to be transferred and that transfer has to be endorsed by the governor at that period of time now what is happening here people are interested in getting form 114 in their name they are not bothered about their property they are not interested in alvara is a document they are not interested because everywhere everywhere if you are going as you said you don't get subsidy you don't get any benefit if you are having that alvara document with you because everyone is asking you for form 114 yeah alvara people from uh, uh to they also had come because they wanted to put up the school there so they find that their alfara land they are put under government in the uh, record of uh, government form 114 and then they and they when they went there no your record you have to change because you are shown as a government occupant so they are not giving them the benefit now there is already judgment of the high court in 1998 when uh and it is been declared that the name the government cannot enter into form 114 because it is meant for human being 
as a person who are succeeding, uh, whose sons and children are survival. So the government is doesn't die. It is meant for person who dies. The government doesn't die because the government is with perpetual entity. Correct? No, government doesn't die. Now who dies is the people. Now there are section 23. Nobody reads that under land revenue court. If an occupant die, the the bestowal proceeding has to be started by government, uh, by collector to confer the rights on his successor or legal heir. Now the question is, it shows that occupant dies. Now how you will put this under the government? How government cannot die. Mm. So now this is very clear that <laughs> land can be held only by a physical living person who can die mm. and succeed. That's why there is a provision there to br uh, bring mutation in succession and all that. Mm -hmm. But you tell me when, where is going to be a mutation in government never die? Mm -hmm. That is the question. Uh, now the, the whole thing is answered by that judgment mm -hmm. that that never meant, that Form 140 was never meant for entry of government. As you say in 2A, that, that, that is in contempt of court when the name of the government is there. And actually there were all Alvara lands. And you are a proprietor there. All who are holder are proprietor there. They are, they are in Dhamman it has been removed. Mm. Dhamman they have been abolished and made occupant. That's why the Dhamman, there are, there are no proprietor, there are only occupant. Where all these laws can be applied. They are applying the same law which is, which is applicable in Dhamman. Mm. Here. Now you, you are cheated there as far as Tuya is concerned and elsewhere. Where now, now if you go to see there also it is happening the same thing of oh, the Sangye. Mm -hmm. uh, Sangye means that where IIT is coming. They have put, that is also community land of old community. It is shown because nobody is there, it is shown as belong to government and occupant is government. And on that basis they have want to oust the cultivator from there. They are using, making use of this form only for that purpose, nothing else. So what we are, we are, we are subject to fraud introduced by this form 114. It outs the outs your proprietorship and make people make even the police and all will ask you to give it to you form 114 if you are right. Otherwise they don't entertain you. So your form 114 is becoming a document. Because form 114 they think that is the ownership. Uh, <coughs> this is a very important point. Malavar, the खूब महत्वाचा मुद्दा एडवोकेट अंदरे परेरा यानी इते मांडलेला है. अनि तो सग्या गोएकरा ने नीज गोएकरा ने समझून गणा कर जेता है. गोव्यातल्या जमीनीची माल की ही जी गोएकरांग कड़े आहे ती प्रोप्राइटरशिप आहे. ती ओनरशिप नहीं है. ओनरशिप ही ब्रिटिश कायदा प्रमाणे ओनरशिप बसते. मुझे ब्रिटिश सरकार जी � त्या लोकांचा जमीनी वर्ती ओनरशिप असा त्याचा अर्थ होतो परंतु मुळात गोव्यात जी जमीन होती गोवेकरांकडे ती मूळ जात गोवेकरांकडे होती आणि ती प्रोप्राइटरशिप गोवेकरांकडे होती जेव्हा गोवा दमण आणि दीव असं केंद्रशासित प्रदेश जेव्हा स्थापन करण्यात आला त्या वेळेला दमण या ठिकाणची प्रोप्राइटरशिप रद्द करून तिथे ओनरशिप लागू करण्यात आली आणि तोच कायदा गोव्यात लागू करण्यात आला याचा अर्थ गोव्यात जो लँड रेव्हेन्यू कोड लागू करण्यात आला तोच मुळात बेकायदा पद्धतीने लागू करण्यात आला आणि 1 एन 14 हे दाखले तयार करण्यात आले आता 1 एन 14 हा दाखला काय तो 1 एन 14 हा दाखला कलेक्टरला रेव्हेन्यू कलेक्ट करण्यासाठीचा दाखला परंतु या 1 एन 14 वरती गोव्यात कुठेच कसल्याच पद्धतीचा रेव्हेन्यू कलेक्टर कडून वसूल केला जात नाही याचा अर्थ हा दाखलास मुळात बेकायदा आहे अनधिकृत आहे आणि या दाखल्यातूनच सगळ्या गोव्यातल्या जमीन व्यवस्थापनाचं वाटोळ हे या सरकारनं करून घेतलेलं आहे आणि त्याचमुळे आज गोरगरीब जनतेला ह्या सगळ्या गोष्टी सहन कराव्या लागतात जे बारीक गोयकर आहेत ते मात्र हे वन एन फोर्टीन आणि बाकीचे दाखले घेऊन आज वेगवेगळ्या सरकारी खात्यात हेलपाटे मारत आहेत परंतु त्यांना कुठल्याच पद्धतीनं न्याय मिळत नाही आता सध्याच्या परिस्थितीत त्यांना न्याय देण्याची कुणाचीच इच्छा नाही कारण त्यांना आपल्या जमिनीच्या मालकीबाबत काहीच माहीत नाही माहिती नाही असा अर्थ लावून आज राजकीय नेते दलाल बनून आज मोठमोठ्या रिअल इस्टेट मोठमोठ्या उद्योजकांना या जमिनी विकू लागले जसं आंद्रे परेरायाने सांगितलं की गोवा मुक्तीनंतर एक इंच जमीन देखील सरकारची जमीन नव्हती 
ज्या वेळेला सर्वे करण्यात आला आणि या सर्वेच्या वेळी ज्या जमिनीच्या मालकीबाबत कुणीच दावा केला नाही त्या जमिनी सरकारी जमिनी म्हणून नोंद करण्यात आल्या मुळात या सरकारी जमिनी नव्हत्या त्या जमिनी ह्या वेगवेगळ्या कुमिना कुमिनीदातच्या होत्या त्या जमिनीवरती त्या वेळेपासून लोक त्या जमिनी कसत होते आज एक चौदाच्या उतारावरती त्या जमिनीची मालकी ही सरकारी जमून जमीन म्हणू लागलेली आहे आणि सरकार दावा करतो की ही आपली जमीन आहे सरकारी जमीन कुठल्याच पद्धतीनं असू शकत नाही आणि याच एक चौदाच्या उतारावरून आज सरकारी यंत्रणा सर्वसामान्य लोकांची फसवणूक करत आहेत वी हॅव कम्प्लिटेड ऑलमोस्ट सिक्स्टी इयर्स ऑफ लिबरेशन स्टील we are fighting with this land issues nobody is concerned about this land issues and if this land issues is not resolved then goikarpan will uh, will finish yes because the link between goikarpan is directly related to our land when we will lose our land then goikars will not remain on this land what is your uh, say on this and what is your suggestion to the people of goa what they should do at this point of time see it is made very clear that the government is not owner of any land to claim ownership right and if you know not a single person in goa is paying land revenue to the government because that can be paid only if there is a grant made by government so without grant that form 114 is meaningless even supreme court has passed so many orders that the gra- that record of right are meant for persons who are holding land under land revenue court payment and not for other and it is not a title document for anyone in spite of that the government and authorities here are insisting to produce that document and they are not insisting to produce you the alvara document which is written there that contractual relationship with you for them that is not a document for them this is the document and this document has have been held even by our high court that it is not a legal document to claim any ownership now now what is happening here there are many inventory proceedings are going on based on old existing portuguese civil court that is perfect but the listing of the property is not done based on inscription on description not done based on your alvara they are filing form 114 the form 114 is not a title document and they are getting orders satisfied by using this record of rights as a list of their properties before inventory court now inventory court passes the orders after passing the orders people are going and asking for mutation partition now you tell me we are subject to old law which is portuguese portuguese civil court which sees contractual relationship to hold land under proprietorship and not occupancy and all these lands which are having by all people in goa are having land free that is freehold lands whether they have taken from komda they have paid 20 times they have taken from government they have become they are not under burden to pay land revenue government now when the law very clearly says that the both people who are holding land as occupant have to pay land revenue under section 45 to government since 1968 or 71 that law came into force not a single person whose names have been entered in form 114 as occupant have paid any land revenue to government if to make it valid so when you don't pay land revenue to the government based on your name that is entered that supreme court judgment applies to you that these are bogus form now when supreme court is on your side the to throw away this documents which are not legal document and they are fraudulently pushed on people the pe- it is for people to agitate to throw it out now if you go to see in the, in these days all that noise is going on regarding that uh, amendment to development plan and all 
if you go to see the land that uh, town planning act and all the development act are promoted based on form 114 if you don't have form 114 your projects are not appointed approved that law is not applicable where form 114 is not is existing now people are making noise about this but they are not making noise about to remove this dirt which is put on you this is a nuisance even when you are supported by Supreme Court hard judgment that these are not document of title. Many of these lands which are granted for agriculture purpose by government as well as by Komidan, because the name is in Form 114, collector has assumed powers to convert the land for non-agriculture purposes and our destroyed our large number of agricultural land to the prejudice of ev everyone. And th these are only few people who are enjoying it. And uh, our lay persons who doesn't have such land, they are only watching what is happening and they only cry about no uh, being destroyed. But they are not asking to remove this artificial document which are giving powers to revenue department, to giving powers to collector. When the High Court itself says High Collector does not have jurisdiction, over the land which are not granted under land revenue code. In spite of all this, our people still now, as you say, they are going and asking government, please give us ownership. Though they are higher than the owner, that ownership means you have to pay ground rent to the government. This is exactly now, as I, as I have pointed out to you, this forest department is making use of this Form 114 even for land which are reserved for grazing ground, there are lands which were for Kumiri land. All these lands are brought under under reserve forest, wildlife forest, forest uh, you know, uh, park, uh, national park, wherein people are residing there since centuries. They have their settlement for years and ages during their ancient time. They have their cultivation over there. Now what is happening there, this zoning by reserve that is done by state government, not by central government under this law, and covered up all these lands which are there in the periphery of the areas, and finding that they are under wildlife. Now they are asking them, please come forward and then we are giving you uh, rights, forest rights only because they have put them under Form 114, which shows government land, okay? When though they had no powers under even that a Supreme Court judgment, the lands which are occupied by human beings, whether legally or not, on any land, and where the lands are covered by agriculture purposes, for any other purpose, other than government land which are used for uh, forest and wasteland and barren land, no land can be covered under that notification under this. Now what they have done, the entire villages in uh, uh, your Valpoy, they are gone under Madhik. My other uh, places are on the Mahavir uh, wildlife, next in Netoli. These are, they have already covered the living people who are there for centuries because they, they have not excluded. And they want you, these people, to come before them. Please give us the right to stay. Mm -hmm. And tomorrow, if they are not given, they will be evicted. Because they, you are only going and admitting that you are in forest land when you are not. The forest has a, is, have grabbed your uh, happiness. But uh, it is difficult for people to understand because people are saying, please put me under Okupan when they are proprietors. This is why the forest department is making you, and the government says, no, no, we'll grant you uh, your rights under forest. That, that is totally abusive, because forests have taken grazing ground, your Kumiri lands, and beside other lands, when they had to go only by forest land, which are on government land, only land of government under barren, which are wasteland. No, no, three, three lands they can cover up under that act. Mm -hmm. Not any other land. They have and they have put the entire zone and that notification is not based on Form 114. No, uh, they are going by boundary. This boundary, 
to that boundary this boundary to that boundary of this villages and they have not gone by identify any now if you are in this boundary he wants that you should come and say that i have right now you fail because you they want form 114 on you and that's why our people are saying no no give us form 114 we want to become owner mm. the same thing has become that the uh, melali you know where is this mm. guleli melali their form 114 is brought now that form 114 is uh, my mutation is put on iit and people are still suffering for that criminal cases against them over their own land which is there at the same time it is covered by forest department that is what i am saying uh, we are being cheated the whole goans are cheated but they still they don't understand who what is the cause for being cheated now even that double tracking and all they they are all are going by form 114 the land division is taking place by one f- 114 the mopa airport has taken place by making use of 114 if there was no one form 114 the law of land division could never been applied khup mahatvacha vidhan uh, advocate andre pereira ne kelela hai govans have been cheated goikarana phasavla gela hai arthat portuguese rajvatitun goa mukta jhala आणि भारत सरकारनं गोव्याची मुक्ती केली ही चांगलीच गोष्ट आहे परंतु गोव्याची मुक्ती झाल्यानंतर भारत सरकारने जेव्हा गोव्याचा ताबा घेतला त्यावेळेला गोव्यात जे पोर्तुगीज कायदे लागू होते गोव्याच्या जमिनींचं व्यवस्थापन ज्या पोर्तुगीज कायद्याअंतर्गत सुरू होतं त्याचा अभ्यास भारत सरकारच्या सरकारी अधिकाऱ्यांनी केला होता काय तर तो अजिबात करण्यात आलेला नाही सरसकट भारत सरकार के कायदे यठिका लागू कर ज्याला गोव्याला मुक्ति देला तिथे स्पष्ट कर गोव्या जमीनी सदर्भत कि गोव्या इतर बाबी बाबत पोर्तुगीज कायद्याप्रमा न्याय निवाड़ा होने गरजे है जित पोर्तुगीज कायदे लागू होत नहीं तिथ भारतीय कायदे लागू करे परंतु जे ब्यूरोक्रैट जे नौकरशाह गोव्यात पाठवण्यात आले होते ते सगळे नोकरशहा हे भारतीय प्रशासकीय सेवेतील होते त्यांना पोर्तुगीज कायद्याचं ज्ञान नव्हतं आणि त्यामुळेच जो काय घोळ आणि जो काय घोटाळा घालण्यात आला तो आता साठ वर्षानंतरही गोयकारांना सतावतो आहे गो गोयकारांना पिटतो आहे अनेकांना वाटत असेल अनेकांना वाटेलही की हे काय बडबडत आहेत म्हणजे यांना गोवामुक्त झाला हे पसंत नाही की काय यांना पोर्तुगीज राजवटीतच हे समाधानी होते की काय असं अजिबात नाही हा विषय खूब अभ्यास करना सारा है गोव्या जमीनीच ज्या पद्धतिन व्यवस्थापन पोर्तुगीज का होता क्या गोव्यात भारत जसा लैंड रेवेन्यू कोड लागू है तशाच पद्धतिन तो गोव्यात ही लागू कर वन एंड फोर्टीन ये डॉक्यूमेंट तैयार कर जो इतर राज्य वन एंड फोर्टीन हा केवल कर भरनेस कल वसूल करना सा वन एंड फोर्टीन दाखला देना देते परंतु गोव्यात हा वन एंड फोर्टीन दाखला तैयार कर खरा परंतु य दाखलवर कु एक ही गोव्या नगरिक हा जिधिकार कलेक्टर न कर दी नहीं यहाँ हा डॉक्यूमेंट फॉर जो है ये लक्षा देते मजे आज गोव्यात अभी परिस्थिति परिस्थिति है कि तुम्हें तुम्हार जमिनी से निस्सीम मालक आहत आलकी ही केवल सरकार ने वन एंड फोर्टीन फॉर्म लागू के तुम्हारा गुलाम बनवल तुम्हें आज सरकारक जता तुम्हार जमीनी की मलकी मगता अभी विचित्र परिस्थिति यू निर्माण है माला वाट जे नीज गोयकार जे या मातीशी जी ना जुड़ेली है तनाज एडवोकेट आंद्रे परेरा ये जे का बोल अर्थ समझू शके जी ना या गोव्या भूमिशी जुड़ेली नहीं तना कदाचित हा विषय हा राष्ट्र विरोधी विषय अस ही वाटू शकत या वन एंड फोर्टीन आज गोयकार कस देशो धड़ीला लवेला है आ वन एंड फोर्टीन नावावरती आज प्रशासकीय अधिकारी कशा पद्धति लोकान सतावता है लोकान छता है यहाँ ही सोक्षमोक्ष लगने की गरज है गोवा मुक्तिन या साठ वर्षान हा न्याय खरोखरच गोयकार मिलू शकेल का कि गोयकार यन्यायाखा पिजुन याज अन्यायाखा उद्वस्त हो जसा नव्या भारताचं स्वप्न माननीय पंतप्रधान नरेंद्र मोदी हे बघतायत तसंच नवा गोव्या ह्याचं स्वप्न आपले राजकीय नेते बघतायत परंतु या नव्या गोव्यात मात्र नीज गोयकार शिल्लक राहणार राहणार नाहीत ते उद्ध्वस्त होणार आहेत 
आणि त्यांच्याच या नीज गोईकारांच्या उद्ध्वस्तपणावरती हा नवा गोवा उभारणार आहे की काय असे असंख्य प्रश्न या निमित्ताने उपस्थित होतात सर थँक्यू व्हेरी मच फॉर गिव्हिंग युअर प्रेशियस टाईम टू एक्सप्लेन हाव द लँड मॅनेजमेंट इज बीन टोटली गोईंग इन द रॉंग वे अँड पीपल गोवन पीपल हॅव टू सफर सर थँक्यू व्हेरी मच